Good morning, folks. We've got a look at space weather and what we're expecting to see over the next few days. We've got a big earthquake, a new planetary system, and some eye candy as well. We are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the last day was a bit quieter. Yesterday morning, we showed the large filament release on the north, and since then, the eruptive activity and solar flaring has backed off a bit. We're expecting geomagnetic conditions to amplify, however, from their currently calm state here this morning, when a small CME and then the CME from that large filament arrive over the next 36 hours. If you missed it last night, we shared the Enlil spiral forecast for that filament eruption CME, and it's expected to arrive tomorrow night. We also have the southern coronal hole, which should have its solar wind arrive at Earth about a day later, making for a couple days of expected geomagnetic disturbance here to kick off next week. We will be watching. We're off to Nepal, where a magnitude 5.6 earthquake has caused landslides and collapsed homes. Death toll sits at 150 this morning, but is expected to rise today. They're having trouble reaching all the affected areas due to roads being blocked by those landslides. Up next, let's go to space where a new seven-planet system has been discovered. All the planets are between the size of Earth and Neptune, and a couple of them are even rocky. It's not exactly a life favorable of a system as ours, however, as their star scorches those planets. Interesting bit of eye candy up next, Lake Maracaibo. Many of you are familiar with this area as it contains the Catatumbo Lightning, one of the most ferocious lightning hotspots on Earth. The shot from the satellite highlights the algae visible in the lake and how it's actually quite toxic, but I'm equally as interested in the swirl of the pattern, which kind of hints at the overall energetic vortex of the region and one of the key hypotheses about why the lightning there is so bad. Imagination going ham on that one. Don't forget tickets to Observer Ranch event on November 18th. This is the last chance also to get your name on the Observer Ranch founder wall and get your limited edition mug. And folks, we're only going to have pre-orders of the new book up for three more days. The entire order is almost spoken for. After that, they won't go back on sale till the end of the year. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on space weather as we head into next week. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.